Interviews with three families are intermingled. As each family speaks, their children play. Family one, a little girl sits with her family, writes with crayons, and plays with her toys. You would never know that there was something wrong. They had found the NPC, Neiman Pick Type C, a fatal genetic disorder. Family two, a toddler hugs her parents, walks around holding her parents' hand, and sits on a swing. They told us that she had hypoplastic left heart. The left side of the heart didn't develop. Essentially, she had half a heart. Family three. Two teenagers play video games, throw the football, and play board games with family. We were told that they were two of five people in the whole United States that have it. They do not produce any lipton. There are approximately 7,000 rare diseases. 50% of them affect kids. Family one is speaking. She will lose all neurological functions. She'll lose the ability to talk, to swallow. She'll lose the ability to walk. It's terrifying. It's heartbreaking. Family two is speaking. It just hit us hard emotionally and kind of scary. You got to leave it up to the doctors to take care of this heart condition. Family three is speaking. Not knowing what your child has and going to all the doctor's appointments over and over and over again and not getting anywhere, you want to give up. While a single rare disease may only affect a handful of people, altogether more than 25 million Americans have a rare disease. Family One is speaking. So there's no hope without research. There's a lot of really cool things in the works uh, between the trials and there's gene therapy going on that looks really promising. Tommy Pastinen, PhD, Director, Center for Pediatric Genomic Medicine, speaks into the camera. Not only gives new answers in terms of specific diagnosis to kids, but also creates the information base that we need to develop therapies for these diseases, most of which don't have any existing treatments for. Family Three is speaking. Knowing the answer really helped. Makes it a lot easier to explain to people. Makes it a lot easier for school. Makes it a lot easier on my mental health and other stuff. Family One is speaking. Our biggest hope is that the science is quicker than the disease progression. She would not be getting the treatment she's getting now if the research wasn't done 10 years ago, 20 years ago. I always like to think too, diabetes, before all that study was done, people were dying from it. And now there's a treatment and it's manageable. Children's mercy, love will.